decided that as much as, you know, we enjoy selling our technology to other people, why don't we go and use some of it ourselves? And why don't we try to build a new form of retail? So since the turn of the year, we started to work on it, on, it, on that exactly, which is let's create not a new brand. Let's not create, you know, that sort of thing. Why don't we create a new form of retail? And what I mean by that is why don't we use data? Why don't we use community? And why don't we use like a new factory to consumer model to create a totally new way of shopping? And at the end of February, we launched uh, what, we, what we call This Is Unfolded. And the name Unfolded comes from the idea that you're like unfolding the industry, where we basically looked at it all and said, how can we make this more effective? How can we remove the 30% of product that ends up, going, that ends up getting sent to landfill uh, because it's not being sold? Is it so, as much as 30% that goes to landfill? Yeah, right. 30% of new is product goes unsold? to landfill without ever, being, without ever being worn. So it's like, how so do we... So is that unsold stuff? stock or stock also from people's homes? So, someone's stole and then some that is purchased and there's never worn because it's purchased at such a discount. They don't really want it. They just thought they were getting a good deal for her. That kind of comes wow. through. So our idea was that can we remove that and can we create other efficiencies in this whole offering? So the way that we do it is we basically design clothes using data. So we basically use the data from, from Malsey and from our kind of process to kind of create a framework for designing products. We then design those products and then we go to the community or the people that buy from us, the people that, you know, we're, are, are, we don't think of them as customers, the people that are part of our movement and say, which of these should we create? So for collection one, we went to them with 47 designs and they picked out 14 that were like, these are the ones that you guys should create. What we then do is that we don't produce anything until it has been sold to the consumer. Okay. So the whole idea then being is that we basically line up this, this different sort of approach to the supply chain. We don't allow you to buy an individual product. We don't allow you to buy the same product in multiple different sizes. We're much like, we'd much rather educate you on the size and make sure you buy the right product from the start, instead of you buying three of the same set, three of the same product in different sizes, and then sending two of them back to me, because that just creates more waste, more inefficiency, more damage. To, to the planet and to the retail model. So you basically, for collection one, the idea was that you would pick three products from three different tiers. So a dress, a top, and a t-shirt. And basically by removing the waste, we can offer them to you at a really great price. So it was 65 pounds for those three pieces of really, really good quality. And then the savings that we make, we then also go and do positive things through from that. So for example, we've created like a, an unfolded workers fund. So the workers get paid more, the more that we sell from the collection that goes through from it. And we've also partnered with an NGO that basically provides education services uh, in our country, in our producing country, which is India at this minute in time. So that every order supports a child in education for four months, okay? Yeah. So yeah. the whole idea around this is that you remove the waste and you make something that's better for the planet because there's no waste. It's better for the consumer because it's a great price and it's a great quality product and it's better for society at the same time. So we put this together, we launched it out. We decided this time we were like, we want to really manage this and make it amazing. So we're not going to let it go too big. So we did no PR, we did no influencers. Uh, across about three weeks, we sold just under, just over 1,500 of them, okay, in that time. In boxes, yeah, yeah. Uh, boxes for her, that kind of comes through. Uh, and they were all then delivered. Uh, so it takes about four to six weeks for delivery. Uh, and then they were all delivered last week. And the yeah. customer response has been absolutely phenomenal for her, that kind of comes through. So, you know, our return rate just now is sitting at like 1.5%, which is just awesome. Uh, we have basically, we've encouraged- so you, take, so you do take returns then? By law, you have to. So yeah, of course, oh, yeah, you have to. We have to take returns. But the things that the thing that I love the most about it though, is uh, what we did is that every t as your product is being made, it moves through all the stages of production. And we send you an email every time it moves through that. So we're educating the customer about what it takes to produce a garment mm -hmm. and how long that process looks like and the stages and everything that comes through from it. And that's just a really great experience for, for the consumer because you feel like you're part of something, you're involved in it and you're engaging through from it. The other thing that we've absolutely loved is that we've got this uh, like community group. 
So once you've purchased, you come and join the community group. And basically in the community group, you get to help us design the next collection, but you get to get to see behind the scenes, all these sorts of things. But you can also swap stuff that you get with other people in the group and we pay the postage. And, you know, the last week in there, after all these deliveries has been amazing, people sharing their looks, sharing their styles. And it is, it might be the most positive place on the internet at this point in time. It's Facebook based. The it's a, it's, yeah, it's just, just a simple Facebook page at this minute in time. It's really great. What we've loved seeing is like people putting up an image, often people that maybe wouldn't put up a picture of themselves wearing something like wearing new clothes on the internet and just the positivity that they get from the community and from everyone taking part in that uh, is, is absolutely lovely. So our whole model with this is unfolded is there is a different way to do, to do retail. There's a different fashion industry that can be created. And the focus of that is that we need to remove the waste from the production and make a great customer experience through from that sort of thing. So, so how do you kind of build that piece through? And that's what we're doing just now. And we're looking at that as this is a movement. Like this isn't, this isn't, we're not breaking, we're not making a brand. Like yeah. we're making a movement with everyone coming from it. So, you know, we've, we've been doing a lot of stuff about, you know, feedback and how do we improve? So, you know, like adding sizes, like all these sorts of different things so that we can kind of build that out and create something that is, you know, really, really powerful in creating positive change in the world by say reducing waste in in fashion for where that comes through